and you haven't totally froze up. You're kind of blocky, but that's normal anyway. You're blocky. He's blocky in real life, folks. <laughs> so, yes, and, sorry. yeah. So anyway, the reason why I've got Muzzle Mike here, and by the way, I'll introduce. This is the TDD report for January twentieth, two thousand eighteen. I was originally I told you guys I was going to talk a little bit about the Consumer Electronics Show, but something came up just a few days ago that everybody's been talking about, and it has to do with technology and the internet. Um, YouTube is going to make it a little bit harder for people to make money, especially the smaller um, users, the uh, less view users, the people that earn maybe $100, $200, $300 an entire year. And uh, I knew Muzzle Mike fit into that category too. And I also asked Navy Thomas to make a video about it, which I'll give you the link to. I'll, I'll probably put a little excerpt at the end of Navy Thomas's video. I asked him to specifically talk about it too so that I could share some of his stuff on the TDD report and then I'll send you a link below to his entire video about it but I want to get some thoughts about that too I originally thought about it all in the negative but I can also present a couple of things where um, other people have said there may be a positive to it too in the long run so first I want to get Mike's impression when you first found out about it yourself um, pissed off kind of crushed over it or not really that concerned oh, about it? I, I, I was hot I was hot I mean you, you know even though I didn't talk about a whole lot whenever I first started my channel, you know how much I worked to get to where I was if they actually permitted me to have that demonetized. And back then, you had to work for it. Yeah. And people people say, oh, no, it wasn't that hard. You had to work for it. it yeah. Then they started giving it out, mm -hmm. practically. And now they're just saying, well, it's not that hard. A few people are saying... Uh, if you do the math, it's harder than you think, you know? Yeah. Now, what is it? You have to have 2,000 subscribers, uh, right? You have to have 1,000 subscribers oh, okay. and 4,000 hours. Okay, 4,000 hours of views during a year. Yeah, okay. And what people don't understand is you look at your analytics on YouTube channels, that's in minutes. Yeah. Yeah, because. That's not in hours. Yeah, because I mean, it can be very deceiving. Mm -hmm. Now, um, I did. I was. I've been in threads, obviously, kind of exploring this too, and and going through the threads to try to see if I could find other viewpoints on it myself. I was kind of shocked myself too because I thought, well, that's kind of discouraging because a lot of the people I follow fit that category. Just besides Mike too, and what they do. Um, these people usually are not people that are real super financially well off, but what they'll do is they'll take their two or three hundred dollars earnings at the end of the year, or even a hundred dollars, say, and buy a piece of equipment, and just to improve their videos a little, say they'll buy a, a wireless microphone, or they'll upgrade their camera, they'll get a two hundred dollar camera and just upgrade it, and just put it right back into the channel to make better videos, and that can be very discouraging, especially nowadays with the economy if you're on a tight budget. Um, what one person did, on the other hand, was his name was Chad, and he was on. I won't reveal any more about him because I don't have permission to use this thing and I don't know what his privacy concerns are but on one thread he was talking about the fact that it might actually bring the community back a little bit more he said that he lost a lot of the feeling for a lot of the uh, people he used to follow when they were more worried about earning money even if it was two or three hundred bucks than uh, more than communicating with the community and uh, doing tags and remember that he said remember the days when we used to be able to do the video replies too he said he'd like to see those days come back again mm -hmm. and he thought that maybe because a lot of people were shooting thinking now these are people not just thinking that they're gonna stay at two or three hundred I think you're one of the ones that are just realize you are where you are and you're not gonna all of a sudden uh, next year be somebody that's gonna compete with uh, PewDiePie I, I don't think you're you've got that thought you're just mm -hmm. thinking I'm gonna I'm gonna grind out enough money to upgrade my equipment and do stuff like that but he was thinking that it may get rid of a lot of but, those people. I mean, if, if anybody that follows both of our, our channels mm -hmm. knows that I keep, like, most of my equipment is under $20. Yeah. And I actually, I, I love doing that, mm -hmm. finding the best I can for under $20. And that's where that comes into where I, my $100 a year mm -hmm. pitched into the channel. It just, I never really got anything out of it. Yeah. I just put it in the channel and kept it. What I was doing. For you guys that don't know Muzzle Mike's channel, he is about, just a second, I'll, I'll, I'll let him kind of, I'll fill him in on here. Muzzle Mike's channel basically is for the people that are the first time into video production and uh, uh, YouTube channels to where you have a very, very skimpy budget. He'll, he'll test the very, very 
inex most inexpensive, uh, like the Pile Microphone Remote mics. He'll, he'll test the inexpensive level of equipment and tell you what at least um, is acceptable. And uh, uh, I know there's a lot of people like uh, Techmon and stuff like that that have the money to spend on all this, you know, medium to high level equipment and can buy five or six high definition cameras. But um, Mike is, is more into the beginner and helping people out that don't really have that big a budget. So I just wanted to tell him that, but continue on. Sorry for interruption. But um, there is a there is a way around it. I'm actually setting my channel up, and okay. I, I've actually messaged you uh, earlier yeah. about this. Yeah. And actually, I'll, I'll be further ahead just by using something like, say, pre Patreon. Yeah. I mean, for those of us that only make say a hundred dollars or two hundred dollars a year, if only think about it, mm -hmm. you get ten subscribers to just uh, pledge one dollar a month. Mm -hmm. And you're over that one hundred dollars a year. Yeah. So that's a possible workaround, people. If you people if, can... if you have enough people interested, ask them to just pledge a dollar or two or three dollars. And if you've got twenty people interested, you can actually you know grind out enough money. Especially if you're somebody like that that produces. That's what I look for too. Is I look for useful how-to videos. Uh, how can I make a wireless microphone work if I don't have the money to to buy an expensive wireless mic? Exactly, exactly. I mean, not all of us can afford the expensive stuff. I mean, I would love to have a high, high quality camera or just doing the ITL. Yeah. I would love to, but I use the same camera I use for my moto vlogging. Actually, a lot of times I'll use my, uh, mm -hmm. my lower end JVC just to shoot the ITL. Yeah. It, 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 you can get a lot of good stuff out of the cheaper, cheapest stuff mm -hmm. if you just work at it yeah. and see what finds what works for you. So anyway, I just wanted to bring uh, Muzzle Mike on and talk a little bit about that. Oh, you got some more? Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. You got a little bit more to add? No, 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 yeah. no, 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 that's right. Let's plug your show. He pl he actually plugs my show about twice as much as I plug his show. So I should give him every opportunity. What is your show about, Mike? And how would somebody how would somebody find your show? And what's the name of it? Uh, it's the ITL. ITL for in the lawn. Yeah, right? in the lawn. Because I, I I I named it that so I can shoot that video anywhere on my motorcycle. If I go visit somebody meetups, I can just do pick the lawn. Shoot the video yeah. and have a video up every week. And I've actually been on this show well, one time. I, I was do, in the lawn with him. <laughs> I do a variety show. Yeah. It's nothing like, I mean, Suburban Riders show, I like it because it's, it's consistent with science and it's full of information. Yeah. I do a lot of uh, showing snow and products. I, 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 I do a variety of things. Yeah, you'll do hunting I stuff, do right? Lot, you'll do hunting talk stuff. Talk about different things, trying to do how-tos. Yeah. Just a little bit of everything. Yeah, he'll do, some weeks he'll do like, a, he'll show a new knife, a new hunting knife or something, or he'll show a, um, you know, a new holster that he's got for his gun or something, and then he could go back into something else, like how to how to fix some, some brakes on your motorcycle. So you never know, really, his how-tos, they cover a huge, huge variety of areas. So anyway, thanks for uh, being on the show, and I'd like everybody else to uh, comment down below about what you think about the new changes in YouTube. Uh, good, bad, or does it really make any difference? Do you not really care either way? Uh, to me, I would kind of like to see the small users that help out the community with how-tos at least make some kind of income. And like Mike said, maybe you can do it through Patreon, but give me your thoughts down in the comment below. So um, at the end of the video after that, I'll share, like I said, a, a small clip of Navy Thomas video that I asked him to make uh, about the same subject. So uh, take care, everybody. I will catch you next week. All right, guys. I'm out here to do my second video of the day. This one's going to be a video rant. YouTube has decided 
that anybody with less than a thousand subscribers cannot be monetized. And if you have a thousand subscribers, anybody with less than 5,000 minutes or 4,000 minutes, I don't know if that's per month or 4,000 hours per year, they're going to cut their uh, their monetization. Really? You're going to cut the upstarts?